Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, and um, in the last episode, we uh, ended off here. Uh, we defeated everyone, but then the Blood Moon decided to spawn everyone back. So, uh, we're going to have to do that again. And uh, we met Sidon as well. And uh, just have to... Oh. Where? Oh, yep, another blood moon. Great. Uh, the yes, the blood moon rises the once again. Upon the land. I'm a, I'm a bit confused. Oh. Because I have to go to some ruins to see his daughter or something like that. But I really don't know. No, come on! Ah, oh, perfect. Yes, alright. Now where... Yes, that's them, isn't it? This is it, right? We're here? Where is his daughter? Is this her? I never understand the, the way of historians. Can you not conduct the investigation more cautiously? Oh, oh dear, I certainly hope that you did not overhear me. Uh -huh. Grumbling to myself like that. It's no, not as it sounds, really. Giotto keeps interacting with dangerous things. When I object, he insists it's necessary for his research. What makes things quite difficult for me, as it's my job to guard him. That's why I gave him a moment of gumbling. grumbling. Uh, alright. Okay. Um, take this splash fruit, because I know I'll need them. Hmm, that dignified presentation. Yes, the writing looks like waves upon a stormy sea. Extraordinary. This ancient stone slate was written by our Zora ancestors from the distant past and left us to discover. Stand upon the land of the skyfish, a droplet, the watery bridge. Mm hmm. Alas, I cannot decipher it, hmm? Ah, Link. My apologies, I was deep in thought. In any case, I have news. I have made that a monumental discovery. This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate. Better still, upon its surface there appears to be text regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, and so I am unable to read it in its entirety. I deeply wish that I could view the full text. Alas, I fear that my fins are tied. Oh. Is that the other piece? Oh. Um. There we go. I'm a genius. Hurry up. What is this? The stone slate. I can hardly believe my eyes. Link, I must thank you. Oh, incredible. I can finally read it. Yes, I very well can. 
Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see a droplet waits for you. Do this droplet shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task and you shall reveal the most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge's resting spot with your own two eyes, that which connects the Zora to the people of the skies. This is an extraordinary discovery. This important text actually tells us how to journey into the sky. Hmm, though in truth, that mystery just leads us straight into another. One difficulty has been overcome, and yet another has appeared in its wake. As it mentions the mark of the king, perhaps it would be prud prudent to consult King Dorfan. I assume that he will be returning from his investigation of the sludge shortly. Uh, okay. Clues to the sky. Alright. Um, I guess let's return to Sora's domain. Yeah, it's just down here. I love this. Oh! I wonder what's causing that. That's so weird to think about. This should be his chamber here. Well, King Dorf from Super Punch and Super Kick. Here, here, I'm so big and strong. Wahaha! Oh no, I got beat. This sludge is so yucky. Ah, oh, you got me, big dumb monster. There's no other choice. I'll have to hide in the secret spot. And that spot is, hmm? What's up, guy? We're full on folks who are allowed to play our king... We're full up on folks who are allowed to play our King Dorfan game. We can't keep playing with you here. So take a hint and scram. Secret spot where King Dorfan's hiding. It's... Hmm? What's that? Oh, shut up! Shooed away. Well, then. When I was cleaning the throne room, the children shooed me away. They declared that they are playing a secret game and insisted vehemently that adults are not allowed. I did hear something interesting about their little game, though. They're allegedly pretending to be King Dorfan. What's more, it seems they're recite, recreating recent events. It is ill-advised to allow them to mess around over there. As an adult, I must participate. I mean, watch over them. The question is, how do I sneak a peek? I wonder if there's somewhere I could hide. Uh, where could I hide? I did it, but the sledge is too thick and gross. I have failed. My king, King Dorfer, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I'm, oh, what if you went to that one place to hide? Hey, come on, do it now. Do it right. That didn't sound like him at all. I'm trying, but I can't play Muzu and the monster, not all by myself. Hey, I've been wondering forever. The secret spot where King Dorfer is hiding. What kind of place is it? I know, right? I asked King Dorfer about it once. Um, he said it was a pristine sanctumy or something. Pristine sanctuary, so I guess it's a spot with clear water, somewhere you can get your tummy clean and stuff. But these days, most of the water around Domain is all yucky because of the sludge. Oh, oh, I've heard there's clean water flowing somewhere between Polymus Mountain and the Domain. And there's supposed to be a secret entrance behind the waterfall too. How cool is that? Secret entrance behind a waterfall with clean water. Huh, that sounds pretty amazing. Yeah, hey, wait a minute. Muzu told us we could never ever tell anyone. It's fine, no one's listening. Anyway, let's go through our game again, this time with feeling. Ah, uh, can't we play something else? Okay, alright. I think I know where this is. Should be just there. How am I supposed to get there though? 
Um, I suppose I could fly. Time flies. Monster star, but night time. Oh, all right. Okay. Really can't wait until I get more of a map. Okay. So it should be behind that waterfall then. Alright. Shouldn't I be diving at this point? Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, hopefully it's behind this waterfall. Oh, whoops. Ah. No. Ah. Ah. Wait, where am I going to spawn from? Oh, seriously? How did I get all the way back here? Okay, so his secret hideout should be somewhere here. Oh, great. Yep. Well, one hit. Alright. Alright, let's see if this works. Is there anything here? Is there any hideout here? Behind the waterfall, but... Where else is behind the waterfall? <sighs> Alright. Hopefully this waterfall has it. But it wouldn't though, because the marker's over here. I don't understand. No, I didn't mean to climb. Oh, getting you crab. Is there another waterfall here? Yeah, there is. Wait, is that it? Oh my god! Because, because why would it be over here? Why would it? No, it's clearly over here. 
Yep. Uh. Pristine Sanctum. Oh, it's this guy. Gah! Who approaches? Is that you? So it is, Link! How did you find this place? What cruel ploy are you plotting? Hold, my ever-loving Muzu. If you speak in such a way without explanation, Link here will only be confused as to what is going on. Hello, you don't look too good, Dorfin. Hello, Link. It has been some time since we last spoke. I had received word that you went missing along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? Well, well, to think that such a thing would transpire for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. You expect us to believe that Princess Zelda simply disappeared, just like that. Do not sully our ears with your luck. What? Didn't this guy end up, like, liking us at the end? Because we got the, we got the Zora's, like, the Zora tunic or whatever. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon at Hyrule Castle took place. Calm yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of... Betray? I think... Don't you mean portray? Whatever. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of the Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will, I will now tell you what happened when we saw Princess Zelda, as well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. We encountered Princess Zelda just after Hyrule Castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere. Sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. Muzu and I have left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences. This is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky, accompanied by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then unleashed the beast upon us. King Dorfin violently vanquished the threat. However, he was gravely injured by the sludge during the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. If we could have that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the Zora King, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. That is why we are temporarily remaining hidden with the pristine sanctum. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the depths beneath Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora's domain and unleashed a monster upon us. The waters of truth become murkier still, but from the Zora perspective, one thing is clear. It all leads back to the sky. This disaster, the sludge, the monster, and even Princess Zelda. It may well be that the answer to these riddles can only be found skyward. Uh, like Skyward Sword. <laughs> Sidon ordered Jato, a historian well acquainted with ruins, to investigate. I wonder if any progress has been made. <laughs> ah, so you've already spoken with Jato. Say the mark of the king was mentioned and the stone slate was restored. Hmm, indeed I know of it. The mark of the king refers to a Zora King's scale, one of my scales in other words. I have heard it called by the name you mentioned in the ancient ritual, however none remain to know who it was used. If this particular scale of mine may prove useful to you, by all means take a few. There is no need for restraint, this is nothing to me. If you run out, simply return and acquire more. Wow. Oh, okay. That's cool. After all that has transpired, and after much reflection, I have come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of King onto Sidon. King Dorfin. In any case, this is a matter of another day other, um, after the chaos surrounding the sludge has quieted. Please inform Sidon about my situation and about the King's scale. Tell him there is no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what needs to be done. Uh, okay. But before I go, I want to explore this place a bit. What's here? What is this place? Oh, it's nothing. Um... Well, I've got a lot of character profiles there. But I'll probably never read Muzu's. <sighs> All right, Siren, let's go tell you about your dad. Wonder how we're gonna get up there, though. Oh, <laughs> ah, Link, have you made any progress in your search for Princess Zelda? What? You say my father was attacked by a monster, and that Princess Zelda at least it upon him? What could that possibly mean? Pretty sure it means what it says. 
Well, for now, I feel all we can do is take my father at his word and try not to let us concern over us. Link, thank you for telling me about my father. Princess Zelda descending from the sky, not to mention the monster in that filthy sludge, seems our course is skyward. We now know that the mark of the king written on this slate refers to my father's scale. The only remaining mystery is the land of the skyfish and the floating rock in the shape of a droplet. Stand upon the land of the skyfish, that must be referring to an actual location of some sort. I am sure that if we locate the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to the floating rock that is the shape of a droplet. Link, if you find any leads, please let me know at once. Uh, okay, well... Oh, um, found it. Uh, okay, so how am I supposed to... So it's literally right above me. Uh... Oh wait, no, what am I doing? I'll do it blue since it's... Delete. Okay, so I have to go over here. And, um... There should be... Like, um... Like a, a rock to recall or something. I've never done it before. There should be. Is there anything to recall? How am I supposed to get up there? to be something. Uh. Oh. Oh, I think I know what to do. I don't recall. I have to make a contraption. No, not like a bad. Hope this works. Um, whoops. This works. Yeah, it works. Finally, one of my Zonite contraptions actually works. Oh, and there's a rock that I could have recalled. Are you kidding me? Oh, whatever. This is more fun anyway. <laughs> wow, the batteries really work. I wonder how high I can float up. Oh well, better abandon ship. Hmm. What am I supposed to do though? Floating Scales Island. Hmm. So I need to find a rock that looks like a droplet. And then I need to shoot an arrow at it. Which one of these 
Looks like a droplet. Wait, 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 what? Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe I just stumbled across that. Alright. Yeah! I can't believe I just did that. What? Oh, that is cool. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, okay. Guess I should go tell Sidon. Oh, that is so cool. Apparently there was like a shrine or something there, so that I could have that as a teleport. But, oh well. Wait, what's Sidon doing out of the water? And what's his wife doing here? Lady Yona, it is far too dangerous for you to be here. Darling, I came here to speak... I came here because there's something I need to speak with you about. I've been thinking for quite some time. Hmm? Oh, hello there, Link. What has happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? You solved the ancient stone slate riddle and the pillar of light appeared? The words upon the stone slate are correct. Our parts of the sky may open if we investigate that location. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. My dear Sidon, I think that you should go with Link to investigate that pillar of light. As I was just about to say, for a long time I've been concerned that you are holding yourself back and not acting as freely as I would have expected. But my love, if you and Link, if you and Link join your powers, I am certain you shall be able to overcome whatever danger awaits. It is undoubtedly true, however... Uh, whatever is troubling you, Sidon, why are you hesitating so? It is simply that... Oh. Huh? What is this? Oh, it's a like-like! Sludge-like. I would have called it muck-like or something like that, but whatever. Oh, this is... Monster is covered in sludge. Could it be the foul beast that harmed father? Sidon! You can take care of the water, at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. You are right, as ever. It is up to you, milady. Link, please, I must ask that you fight at my side once more. Ah, uh, sure. Splash fruit will be good. The beast is protecting its body with sludge. It is mighty opponent, certainly, but we must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in the water, thusly shielding you from our foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. Oh, that's cool. Sidon's power of water. Oh, uh... Oh. oh, whoops. Oh, God, that is really powerful. Um... Alright. And I should probably switch... Oh no! Sidon! Hurry up! Yes. Go! Yeah! Oh, um, they're weak to fire, aren't they? Oh! Go, oh, God! Get me out! What? No! Can I get it back, please? How am I supposed to...
Oh. Welcome to the water. Oh. Oh, come on. No. What? Oh, my bow. Yes! Yes! Come on, Sidon! Oh. Yes. Yes! Come on! No! Whoa -ho -ho. Yes! Yes! Goodbye! Finally! Oh, and it's still on fire. Um. Oh, and a chest. We did it, Link! Take that, foul beast of the sludge! Is everyone alright? We are unharmed. Thank goodness. Lady Yona, if something had happened to you, I... Ahem. In any case, it is possible that another monster will appear. I suggest that you return to the domain at once. Thank you for the sentiment, Sidon. However, more importantly, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. The pillar of light they said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the sludge falling through the sky or even Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Leave this place to us, dearest Sidon. Your friend needs your help getting to the bottom of this mystery. Well, of course, it would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. Did you not entrust this task to us already? We will not be on our own for long. We shall be fine. But, Sidon, my darling, I truly appreciate that you worry so for my safety. It speaks to the kindness in your heart. But you are the Prince of the Zora. One day you will lead the people of your beloved domain. I can see right through you, whether you want me to or not. You are yielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. But I... Come now. Enough is enough. You are not acting like yourself. Hey now. You must leave this place to me. Sweet Sidon, do not get lost in the past. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart as you always do. Like my old self, like I always do. Yes, yes. It's alright, I swear it. I am not going anywhere. I see. And there it is, clear as day. I was giving in to my fear of once of losing someone I love. I... I... <laughs> Aha! You are right, Yona. I will not give in to this fear, nor forsake my trust in you. I leave this place to you, my love. <laughs> Off we go, Link, to the Pillar of Light. I shall blaze on ahead, my friend. And there's a classic smile. He <laughs> it seems Sidon has finally put his doubts behind him and returned to his usual fearless self. I'm so glad. All this time he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his precious sister, Mipha, my poor tormented Sidon. And to think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing me as well. What? Yet he has overcome this trial and placed his faith in me at last. The Sidon I know and love has come back to me. Link, please take good care of my dear Sidon. He is the sun in my sky. Okay. Yep. Royal Claymore. Oh, cool. Just one more thing. Mm -hmm. Ah, so there's something I was hoping to speak to you about. There's an item of yours that entrusted 
The Zora armor, the repair is mostly complete, but it does require just one more thing. I need a fish called an Ancient Arauna. I can finish the armor right away if I can somehow I require a scale from that fish. But I've not seen Ancient Arauna's around lately. I have no idea where they can be found. Hmm, since they are used for making armor, Dento the Blacksmith may know something about how to get one. If you locate one sailing, please bring it to me. Don't I have one already? I can climb. Alright. I swear I have one though. No, oh. Guess I'll have to do that later then. Take another crab, thank you very much. Oh, hello, Mifo. Um, wait, where is Sidon? Where did Sidon go? I'm so confused. Where did he go? Over there, what is that? Something resembling a pillar of- yeah, okay, what? Can't tell me where Sidon is. Ugh. Where did Sidon go? No, I'm not dealing with you, Korok. Could he have gone? Seriously, where could he have possibly gone? No! Where am I meant to go?
Well, I just realized I never got my weapons and stuff back from the from the sludge like or whatever it's called. Oh, of course not. There's a shooting star. Where is Sidon? Seriously? He's not here. Prince yeah, Sidon. What? You did it! Do you think that everyone is safe and sexually protected in our water source? Certain Mifu is relieved as well. She looks down the post. Okay. Where is Sidon? Yeah, I don't care, man. Okay, alright. I will. Okay, fine. Yes, alright. But. Can you tell me where Sidon went? Yeah, okay, yeah, alright, they're married. Whatever, I don't care. Cool. What all. Um. Where is he? He has to be near the lake, but he's not there. Oh, this is disgusting. Understand where could he possibly be? Oh my god, why do I always get stuck on the stupidest stuff? Where did he go? I, yeah, he's ready near the pillar of light. Yeah, he's waiting near the pillar of light. Where is the pillar of light? But, well, I mean, sorry, I know where the pillar of light is, it's right there, but where is he? Yeah, okay. He will wait. Okay. Where is he? He's nowhere near here. He's not on that bridge. Come on, please. No! How am I supposed to? Where is Sidon? Just don't get it. Okay, he's not down there. Yeah, he's not. Is he here? Is that him? Why is it glowing red? Oh, it's a Korok. Perfect. Hmm. 
Oh, forget this. I'm doing this another time. Bye.